Hey guys, welcome back to some more acting. No, I keep forgetting every time I try to make one of these videos. It's the first time I've done this video. Get off of the ender chest. Or am I lagging that bad? There you go. By the way, people are here. People uh, are here. You <laughs> bet we're I was here. hoping to be the one where you said hi. I'm actually, like, lagging torrentially. Uh, I don't know why, but I am. But there's Same. that. I uh, is too. You is also extremely sick. I don't know. Why are you even playing? <laughs> um, because I'm much better than I was before. Oh, how is that? Nine, what was it, like 99 degree fever or something? I'm oh, still, I, I'm still like 99. Oh, that's... Josh that isn't just, doing well. Yesterday, <laughs> I was in the 101s. He's dying, our, Almost my friend. Almost 102. Let's all say a nice prayer right now. <laughs> Which apparently is actually really bad for an adult person. Okay, can you all you can all pause. <laughs> moment of silence. silence. <laughs> the pre-moment of silence for the impending doom of doom. <laughs> I was waiting for that, bud. <laughs> um, I should probably explain what this game is, considering this is the first time I've actually played this game on my channel. I would recommend explanation. Okay, oh. so, this is Maze Runner. If you haven't seen the movie, one, go see the movie. And two, what, where is our princess? Oh, okay, I know where she is. So, what you want to do, it's a last man, last team standing game with, um, what you're trying to do is, you're trying to kill all the other teams by either killing all of them or by killing their princess, which does the same thing. I almost made a pick, which is useless. You're not, I don't think you can break things. What is he doing? So the walls are closed now because it's night. Although when the day comes, um, the maze doors open like right around there and like on all sides. And then you can find chests with good stuff. You can find Griever Central, which has this is that's where all the Grievers are and all the places are involved in. And now round one is starting. I don't know where why that door that didn't game? open. There, that's strange. Only two of our doors open. Don't worry yeah. about it, it'll be fine. <laughs> I see. Yeah, it could mean we're on the edge. Although I doubt it. What's it called? What? What? Uh, that sounds fun. <laughs> what, yeah. what? It sounds fun! <laughs> it sounds fun, you want to play now, although I'm in the middle of the game. If I don't win this game, I'll, I'll make all pause for you to let you in. I'm not having a good time talking today. Oh, I found a chest! You should have heard me yesterday. It was terrible for me. Um... I couldn't say words. <laughs> That's always a problem. Yeah, uh, I was bedridden for the entire day yesterday, so... Okay, so we've had an interesting weekend. I couldn't speak words. Uh, Josh was dying. Uh... <laughs> Did I tell you what uh, was going on uh, Friday at school? I was still pretty sick. This uh, Friday? Yeah. Okay. And I could not read the word do. D-O. <laughs> Like, I could not read it for the. Li I had in Greek class. I had five words to read. There, it was yeah. two of them were in Greek, three of them were in English, okay. and I could not read them for the life of me. And when I came to the word "do," I was like, "Do, do <laughs> direct object." I don't know what this is. And Doctor was like, "It's the word do." <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunately and like sad how uh, humorous that is, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I'm dying. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go plant this uh, one carrot. <laughs> carrot. Yeah. So yeah, the server is like crashing repeatedly. Which one? The ones that you're trying to get onto? No, the, uh, Lunch oh yeah, I noticed that. Like the dynamic map kept like going in and out. It's kind of weird. Oh, did you notice we're building a wall? Ooh, a wall! I oh, got. I heard about. I am just got killed. Fabulous, sir. Okay. Whoever. Yeah, there's like the Helvish are being just bitches. So we're building a wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, the wall has been built, but we still have to expand the wall. Yeah. I want to go check it out. And I can. 
And back to the video. Like I, yeah, like I make... mentioned about the princess, the entire green team just got killed. All four okay. of them. Like, all four members of the team just got killed because their princess just got killed. Mm. It looks like the sun's going down, so I'm heading back to my house because I do not want to get attacked by grievers. Because it is always terrible to get trapped in the maze because there's, like, mobs in the game that are super OP and will kill you. Okay, I need to find... Okay, I found it, I think. <laughs> so is the wall it. only protecting us this from like uh, orange. the Helvish? Yeah, but that, they're the only ones that are really, like, we have to worry about. The only other nation we're bordering is the Roman Roman Empire, and they're never on, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that they should be in on the council. Yeah, no, I don't either. Neither does the Helvish. Neither of us think that they should be on the council. Actually. Remember the other thing so that is the only one supporting them for that? Well, I haven't talked to Theon about it. Uh, not yet, though. But I would imagine they don't they, have these... any reason to be on it, permanently at least. I know, they don't. So, my plan, that I actually was working with uh, Noble before all of this shit went down, uh, is basically just to just create an interweb of alliances between the major powers, and then kind of make our own little kind of organization, and then just let the other organization just die off. Simple as that. Ooh, Yellow just died. But the problem is that there's the liability to a legal uh, thing action by Rome if we give them a permanent seat. What do you mean legal action? Like that they can call for something as through this council they can say, hey, we need to do action. Yeah, I know. That's what I didn't really like about it too much when I was reading. It's like it seems like because Rome is the only one that is actually like serious PvP besides the Helvish. But the thing is, they actually do do PvP, so if something actually happened to Rome, they could call upon us. I don't think they will, though, because the Romans tend to just, you know, settle the debts their own way. So Yeah, but I'm probably... saying that it's a liability. I don't think Rome has a history yeah, about that. It's still a liability. Wait, what'd you say? I don't think Rome has a history about settling things between themselves. History joke. <laughs> well, the Romans. I went straight to just history. Yeah. Rome likes these fighting. Romans, these Romans, they tend to, um, they tend to handle their own. They don't. They usually don't call upon anyone. Actually, it's pretty nice. Uh, hey, hey, Spence, can you do me a favor? Depends. <laughs> can you? Do you have the dynamap open? Yep. Can you make sure I'm headed in the right direction to go to the yeah. wall? No, yeah, I've been watching you the whole time. You're, you're heading the right way. You're almost there. Yeah, yeah I just keep walking through that chasm. Find your way. By the way, I really hope that someone on my team has cobble because we can't make a furnace right now. <coughs> okay, wait, where are you going? You're heading the other direction. Are you going up the mountain? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should see you if you're on top of the mountain. It's just a, a single block thick right now, but that's just the outline. We're gonna make it four thick by the end of it, and then I want to make it fancy too. Oh yeah! Like I think we should it... make it the same design as the oh, what's it called the ramparts of the uh, Morris. Oh, like the like little edges things that we have. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. It'd and show I think like we the cultural definitely make it down. way taller. That'd be cool. Then I want, I, did you see I made a, uh, an addition to the whole bill thing for the militia? What did was it? Did you see that? that yet? I basically said that we, like, we have a, a default duty to militiamen that they patrol, uh, like, the city by default, and then command, like, the senate or the emperor can then tell them to patrol a specific area. They don't get paid for patrolling because that's just their default job. You only get paid for campaigns. But, like, we, so in the theory is that we would set up the militia bill, so we sign it into law, people will sign up for the militia, and then almost immediately I set up um, the specialized area to be the South Moresian Wall, which, that's what we're calling the wall, the South Moresian Wall. Um, How do you spell and then it? they would just patrol that the whole time. And what? then that would just, yeah. that would be kind of like our way of threatening the Helvish all the time. It's like, you know, we're here... And then they're always criticizing us for not so having like a military. DMZ. Yeah, it's kind of like the demilitarized zone, except it's the <coughs> just MZ, the militarized zone. <laughs> actually, the DMZ, the DMZ is only the little strip of. It's actually a very thin strip of land. The problem is they backed it up so far. 
that it used to be a much shorter span of land, but they've expanded it a lot. Um, and that at all times there are like ten Humvees. Like, there's an entire armor division as well as uh, several like jeeps and all this shit all lined up with their engines like revving ready to go at a moment's notice. Sorry to interrupt, but I feel like I should mention those the people that just like walked by me and like all black and like white. No, no, let me in. let me out first. Let me out first before you build this. Um yeah, those are the Griefers, but they don't attack in um during the day. Although you do not want to get trapped outside the walls at night. Ever. Anyways. Yeah. And so that's that's <coughs> Oh yeah, and I think we need to as soon as possible claim the desert between the on and the Helvish. Like that little strip of desert down there? Yes. For any particular reason, or just so we have more territory that they can't get? Kind of that, but if we have that strip of desert, they can't have any overland routes with, um... With the on? Mm-hmm. Making trade with the on that much more difficult for them. Well, the Quick thing question, is what's, that... They, oh, sorry. Quick question, what's better, um, Project Protection, one leather boots, or just iron boots? I'd say, oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I I'd always say wondered, the, I feel like it'd be iron. Yeah, I would just go with the iron. Yeah. That'd last longer. Um, <laughs> and then for the land masses, the the thing is, the Helvish they don't want to trade with anyone, like at all. I was talking to them the other day. They don't want to trade with anyone. Like period. I I, I just found an iron sword. <laughs> I found the place that I wanted to build my my city. I feel like Blue just starved. I feel like that's what just happened. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. See, this place would have been oh. for, made for a perfect city. Hey, where are you? No, uh, I'm looking at the Dynamap. Uh, oh. It's in Helvish territory. It's the border between the Helvish and the Schnizorians. But on the Helvish side of it. Let me see. Let me take a look at where that is. And no, the Helvish have been trying to trade with me. Really? Oh. Definitely not their government, because their government is like oh. anti-trade. Not everyone. their government, they're individuals. Like, ah, Yankee, that's... isn't he Helvish? Yeah, but he's he, he is Helvish, but he's very pro-imperial. He's, he's very pro-empire. <laughs> I am very proud of the Shnizorian. Yeah, I know. I'm proud of them, too. They've gone really far in a short amount of time. I'm impressed. They're still really underdeveloped in terms of economy, policy, political situation. But their city itself is pretty pretty bitchin', I must say. Pretty bitchin'? <laughs> yes. Well, the, uh... Tub. Yeah. These new guys tend to be... They're, they're, they're really showing their struts. They can, uh... Doing pretty well this time around. Has uh, Zeus been in contact with you lately? Not lately. Um, he wants. He's trying to convince me to vote for the Tub to join as the the next rotating member in the alliance thing. But I'm voting for the Shnizorians. See, okay. So recently there was some stuff like we were voting on who to include into the group, and it was. It was the tub with two votes and Shinazori with one. But the thing is, there are only four, four people on the committee, uh, like four nations represented, so it's going to be a tie. So I thought to myself, uh, the, originally the Empire abstained. We didn't want to vote for either of them. Um, the reason for that was because if one didn't get in, we would, we would tell that one nation that didn't get in that we would voice their opinion in the group, and thus we could establish a block. And then we'd have a great amount of influence with that group. Um, but instead of doing that right away, I decided to vote for one of them because it would become a tie. And we haven't set up a direct system for how to solve ties. <laughs> so that is why I voted. So that way we would be forced into trying to figure it out before it happens again. Uh, 
And right now, it's just going to be like, <laughs> we're going to post on the withdraw vote. your support. Withdraw the support from what? The organization or from what? No, from whoever you voted for. May allow, the allow your original plan. I think that that was a better plan. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, no. I, w I made it clear that I'm only voting. I only voted for them, so that way it would become a tie, and then we'd have to deal with how to deal with ties in the future. Now. Um, but I'm not, I, in, when it comes down to us fixing the problem, I'm not going to vote for either of them. You could have a want. general election of the people. We could. That would be a little harder. But we could do that. Um, but I don't really have any interest. Like, I just want to have a block. <laughs> and I'd prefer them to be the Shinazorians because they are a lot more advanced than the tub at the moment. And they'd be very helpful economically because they have a lot of production. And they have a lot of wood to be very helpful in uh, producing in the city. Of course, you love wood. Well, then. <laughs> we all know what you're referring to. <laughs> We all know you're wrong. I'm gonna check out the castle. Whose castle is that? That's Fabulous's. You built that in like two days. No, it's not as spectacular as my library. Nothing as spectacular as your library, Doom. You know, there's a, um... By the Maurizian wall that we built, there's like this little open area in the savannah. And it's perfect for like a military base. So I was talking with some people in the GSZ yesterday, and I think what we're gonna do is that once we have the wall built up and stuff, we'll have like, we'll we'll make like a milit a militia fort, and that will be right there. Right on the border of around here. All right, I'm so bored. Put the training fort on the border. Yeah. That would be actually really funny. Yeah, plus it shows them that we are militaristically powerful as well as economically and politically powerful. Plus, it's very defensible because the only way they could, like, the only way the Helvish could attack would be from one direction, not from <coughs> four. Um, Cause and when, then it'd be easy to escape into the mountains if we just make, you know, holes in the mountains and me. Because, you know, you light up my world like nobody else. Yes. Oh, I don't know. oh, oh. You don't know you're beautiful. I feel like those are two different sounds. Nope, same song. Really? I think it is the same song. Isn't that by so One you Direction? Said one Direction, so. Oh, I did! I didn't notice that. Oh, that's where that reference is coming from. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay, it's all coming together now. Yeah, we have a furnace now. <laughs> I'm very impressed by the expansion to the fort. Uh, the fort? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. I built that I built that little expansion the other day. I was very happy with it. I need to put the little top on it, though. I need to make a hoe. Like a little glass top. You a hoe! <laughs> I was waiting for someone to say that. <laughs> I intend to build another expansion to it in the back part. Yeah, um, I saw that. I was thinking, actually, of making... Of, of it hap Not me making, but of it ha becoming, like, a deck. Almost. Yeah, I was thinking of doing something like that too, but I feel like, like, because that new ex extension I just made is not that much room, and I want to have like maybe meeting houses or something in it. So that back part would definitely be a, a good area for like meeting rooms or something. But um, but yeah, I I had the same thought though, like having a deck, would be kind of cool. We could do the same thing because there's a lot of empty area right right there, like right where you are. There, there's a lot of empty area to the north of that, so. We have plenty of room to expand that direction if we wanted to. Spencer, stop, stop talking about your deck. <laughs> it's not... Okay, yes, it is my deck, but still. <laughs> if you ask me, I think it's a pretty small deck. Oh, God, now I know where we're going with this. <laughs> I don't want to compare decks. <laughs> we all know that I have the biggest deck. <laughs> is that true? Acker has just so many decks. Like they're passive. It's, We're like a decked deck, out. it's a deck fest over there. We're decked out. <laughs> I think I just found the title for this video. <laughs> All decked, decked out. out. Yeah. Oh, knock back one wood sword. I have iron. That's I think that's Look still better. Look at the residential zone. It's literally a bunch of decks. <laughs> there are a lot of decks actually. Like, actual deck. Like, not the sexual reference deck. 
What? Who's reference. making sexual references? You're the <laughs> first I've heard of sexual references. See, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> Mind out of the gutter, Spencer. God. Okay, I'm like looping around. I'm literally just like looking for chat. I give it. I, I never look for actual players in here. Probably a good idea. <coughs> I'm not one for V. <coughs> You you've seen me play. I'm not very good at PvP. <laughs> my am I in my am I base? No, I'm too near it. I should get although I Yeah, so I should go try to find bases. I wonder if farmers worked for guys so that I can hire them. I know space worked for guy, mini worked for guy. Um he's a farmer? No, he's a worker, but he worked for guy. He, I think he did the wood cutting. Um I think there were like one or two other farmers. I think Cody worked important. for Guy. I know Space is employed ah, in uh, Laurentium. Really funny. I still, lo I still love the fact that um, I hired Cody and then he just like left and worked for, started working for Guy. You can have multiple jobs in the Empire. It's just, I know. you know, it's kind of expected for you to actually work for all of the people you are hired by. So. <laughs> yeah, he didn't work. For, he didn't work a damn thing for me. Wow. Nothing wrong. Nothing against him. But. Well, no, there should be something against him. <laughs> you hired Nothing him. Nothing about his character. Yeah, okay, a little bit. Why, bro? Come on. <laughs> yeah, he he's a... Uh, I don't think he knows that I am Doom in Skype. And so when he was talking about his residence, he said that his residence is in Acker. So he like, does realize he has a house there. Yeah, he realizes is, he has, like, a home. <laughs> that's funny. This, it's, there's a sign here that says, uh, property of guys, dry goods. Oh, there's still one there? I meant to get rid of all those signs. I got rid of most of them, I must have missed that one. Okay, yeah, I need to head back. Oh, man, I may, oh, I may not make it. <laughs> Wait, am I anywhere near the castle? Yeah. The, the castle is in the far edge of the province of Saxum, and you're just right next me. to the Just find me, I'm at the castle. Do I need just head south? Yeah. And you'll see it. It's just it's the one with the gigantic towers that go up to world height. <laughs> really? They, there's a world height? Yeah, I think it's like 256 blocks, I think. That's what the default is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there shouldn't be a world height. Uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 I'm trapped in the maze. I'm screwed. <laughs> Do you see it yet, Doom? I see them. Okay, I'm gonna. This is my plan. Uh oh. What Once your, the cities are actually established, plan? I'm gonna uh, work on the highway system. Yeah, I, that was gonna. I was like. Oh crap! Oh man! That I needs am to be uh, done. Okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> I have a new plan. Run! I have oh, a new oh, cunning how, plan. <laughs> okay, he weather affected me, and then also set me on fire. I'm, I'm dead. I am dead. I. Ding dong, which is dead. <laughs> well then, thank you for the musical accompaniment. <laughs> um, I died. <laughs> Hashtag yellow swag. No. <laughs> I may add another clip for this, but I think I'm done with this video. Although I am gonna continue playing the game because I can still help. Because I'm basically now a silverfish. You are a silverfish. Huh? That is beautiful. You're beautiful. I'm not talking about you, but thank you. <laughs> I know, it is I, pretty beautiful, isn't it? I was talking about the castle. I don't even know. I'm lost It's now. the most beautiful structure in all of the, all of the Empire, as well as all of the...